it's Zena, your best friend who loves horror. Hello everyone, I'm back in the horror library and today I want to talk about American Horror Story Coven's depiction of Papa Legba. And before we start, I just want to say I love American Horror Story. I love it. I'm always talking about it. Any chance that I feel that I get to talk about it, I'm going to talk about it. Though I haven't been talking about it in the past, so, you know. But that's going to change because guess what? Today we're talking about it. The reason why I really love the series American Horror Story. No, that's what I just said. The reason why I love this series is because it is a horror anthology series that has no problem claiming that it's a horror genre series. Especially when it came out back in 2011, we really didn't have a lot of horror series. We just came off the high from True Blood as well as Dexter and I know some people may try to claim Dexter's not a horror series. Okay, but he was a murderer. Was he not out there murdering people? Because he was. I watched the show. She's got a point. She's an icon. She's a legend and she is the moment. Now come on now. So the point of this is, it's just that this is not going to be a bashing video of American Horror Story because I love it. Again, I feel like I'm always talking about it, just not in these videos. But clearly that's changing because here I am ready to yell and it is 9 a.m. So in American Horror Story Coven, Papa Legba, he's the gatekeeper of the spirit world. He's also known as the God of Travel, Opportunity and Lock. You do see him again in American Horror Story Apocalypse, but we're just gonna be focusing on American Horror Story Coven because this particular season, it, there's so much to unpack, but we're gonna start off with Papa Legba. And if you guys do want more, then yeah, there's other characters that I would love to break down as well. So back to Papa Legba, his character is based off of the spirit in Haitian voodoo. And throughout the season, we see him showcasing his powers, which include detecting if someone has a soul, as well as mind control and teleporting. And his personality, you know, in the series, it is pretty cool. He's very honest and he's all about acquiring souls. He has like this really cool voice. Um, he's played by the actor Lance Reddick. I really like him. He's such a talented actor. He's also in this horror movie called Monster Party. It's like a slasher. Highly recommend this movie. I think that it still may be streaming on Shudder if you are interested in checking it out. So for those of you who don't know, Coven is the third season of American Horror Story. This season is one of my favorites along with Murder House, the first season. So because because the reason why Coven is my favorite is because I really love witches and it takes place in New Orleans. Witchy woman! For this series, I've never heard of Papa Legba and I decided to do some research, you know, because I found the character so interesting. So I was curious if this spirit, if this is real, if this is something that people believe in. And I actually found that the series actually went a different direction from what many others believe. The spirit that people do believe in, Papa Legba, that is not a part of American Horror Story, obviously, he holds the key to the spirit world. And he's also known as the gatekeeper of the worlds of the invisibles. He is said to be the first to be called in voodoo ceremonies because he opens roads other spirits must travel. Uh, in order to communicate and interact with humans. So without him, it's like, because apparently he speaks like different languages and he's just able to communicate. You've seen Papa Legba depicted in pop culture throughout the years um, with novels and songs, series, books. Apparently the looks are different from American horror stories, Papa Legba to what people actually believe in when it comes to Papa Legba. He appears as an old man with a cane or a crutch and he's wearing like a hat, smoking a pipe or drinking sparkling water. Very much different from the Papa Legba that we've seen on, on the American Horror Series. <laughs> And then there is Baron Samadhi, and he's considered one of the Loa of Haitian voodoo religion, and he's known as the Loa of the dead. He enjoys smoking, drinking, interacting with people. Um, he's known to be very chaotic, very morbid. He's also notorious for cursing and the dirty jokes that he tells other spirits. He's even difficult to convince to leave uh that's that's something that i read he will often wish to stay for like one more drink out of all the loao he's baron is the most well known one especially when it comes to pop culture so he's usually depicted 
wearing a top hat, has a black tail coat, cotton plugs in the nostrils, dark glasses, basically dressed like a corpse, prepared for a funeral, Haitian style. His face is usually painted like a skull and he has a deep like tone, nasally type of tone. So also like Papa Legba, uh, Baron Samedi has been depicted in pop culture um, throughout the years, also in novels, songs, series, movies. You get what I'm saying, okay? They depicted him a lot in a lot of things. What does that have to do with him? No, no, she's he's got a point. Now come on now. With a lot of series and movies, I notice that they often confuse um, Papa Legba and Baron Samedi it's like they kind of swap their personalities or they try to like combine them into one. I don't know, again, I just found this really interesting. I found the character from American Horror Story, Papa Lekwa, really interesting. So I decided to do some research and it just opened up a whole new like set of eyes, set of doors, set of doors. You know what I mean? It just, hope, it just opened up a, a whole new perspective for me because I love learning about different cultures and different beliefs and just coming across this, I just, I couldn't stop reading about it so I just thought I would share with you guys sharing is caring and your girl cares and I'm your girl so that's why I'm saying that so that's my video again I just wanted to talk about this let me know your thoughts on Papa Legba and the first time you've ever heard about him be sure to leave a comment and let me know and I will see you guys next time okay they depicted him a lot in a lot of things what does that have to do with him no no she's he's got a point well because he was I watched the show She's got a point, she's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Now come on now. Why